Many people were confused upon that recent visit for Prince Harry back here to the United Kingdom. As we told you first here on the show, it wasn't something that His Majesty the King was rather keen on. This was all because he was worried about spooking people and that literally how ill he possibly was. He didn't see it like that and didn't need that grand gesture from, of course, his youngest son to return back here to see him. After all, this was his youngest son who really couldn't be bothered to wait around at a more important historical event, that of his coronation simply just nine months ago. But this is now the world that we live in, the soap opera, if you like, of the British monarchy. This is the soap opera that Harry and Meghan have turned the monarchy into. But it's fascinating to note, isn't it, when you think about it, that there is Harry returning back here to the United Kingdom and seemingly doesn't want to stay in one of the royal palaces, whether that be Kensington Palace or Buckingham Palace. As ever though, was there truly no room at the inn? Let me explain. How are you? Nice to see you today. Thank you so much as ever. Yes, nice to have your company. Welcome one and all brand new subscribers. And I know I say this regularly, be kind to each other. Please don't refer to other channels or indeed X said on this channel. We don't have it. It's simply just my rules as it were. I'm not interested in promoting other channels and more importantly I don't ask them to do the same for me. It's an individual community and we're a friendly bunch of people so let's just keep it like that because obviously at times you never know what you're actually promoting and I do not want to be promoting anybody who uses foul language or indeed things that not necessarily are, to put it in a nicer term, family friendly you get the picture back as ever though to your royal story of the day it did confuse a lot of people listen it would be really because there you have the British monarchy with lots of homes let's be honest you know you could go in so many places couldn't you but it would appear that Prince Harry has now ostracized himself love that phrase don't you from so many places because as we told you earlier on he had to give well a bit of notice apparently a month's notice even if he wanted to stay at Buckingham Palace but as we saw very swift the Metropolitan Police were there to protect him with of course the guards and all the fanfare that's normally attributed to a royal in motion. So why did Harry not wish to stay at Buckingham Palace or indeed Clarence House or Kensington Palace? These were the things offered to him. Well apparently the reason why was simply this. As we know, Harry himself is very much keen to paint himself as an individual who has, uh, you know, developed independently, you might want to say. That's all thanks to the mega busting money coming through from places like Spotify and Netflix. So he decided to stay at a rather luxurious hotel, not too far away from Buckingham Palace. I know exactly where it was, but I can't point it out because of security. But what I can tell you is that Harry apparently was a model guest who didn't demand too much. And actually, not many of the staff realised that they had a former royal within their midst. But of course, normally when you stay in a big place like that, you are normally sort of, you know, leaving a tip, dare I say. Not me, of course, as one could imagine, but I wouldn't be staying in a place like that. So what sort of tip did Harry leave? Well, according to that well-placed source, very kindly, Harry left behind over seven copies of his book, Spare. Yeah, I know. Nice, eh? And as ever, we have to say allegedly. Now, this isn't the first time that Harry has done this, if you remember, of course. He very nicely gave an airline pilot a copy of his book who wanted to get a picture with him as well. Now, I'm not knocking this. This is self-publicity. This is what you do when you're flogging something. But I'm sure the people at that particular venue would have much preferred a more solid tip rather than the marathon of Harry's life story. But perhaps the only thing he had spare was the book and simply no spare change. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.